Right, hey guys, welcome back to another Tricks of the Trade with me, Tom Cor, here in the living room during lockdown. I've dug deep and gone back in time onto my hard drive here, back to 2016 in Brazil. And I'm gonna talk you through a trick that I have really wanted to perfect over my kite surfing career. And I've failed to do a really nice one so far. I think this trick is really open to interpretation from somebody out there and to be really refined. Um, I've seen Tom Bridge put it to heel side recently, but I think with a kicker, this trick could be insane. So this is the big worm. Beneath the glam, the glitz, the bling and the glitter Sleeping in the dark in the park with no Twitter No Facebook, just a book with my face I'm eating from the trash, can you imagine the taste? It's a disgrace to be so displaced In this world full of riches with drop tops and switches, Rolexes So the big worm is a toe side double S blend to blind A toe side double S blend to blind in essence um, I think actually in wakeboarding, a big worm is just a toe side double S bend, but I'm gonna call this a big worm for now because it's a cool name and it does look a bit wormy. So as you come into this trick, you switch to toe side nice and early. You use that upper body to engage that toe side rail, lean against the bar as you unhook. You use that back hand to lock into your side of your body and lean into your shoulder as you cut into that toe side takeoff. It's all about the scoop and the timing of the scoop in order to get a nice takeoff and be careful not to bog your back foot. So you go into this a bit like a chromobe, very similar to a chromobe, except you're trying to extend your body out behind you, similar to a double S bend. So you take off toe side and you really extend out into the trick and try and get that smooth double S-bend rotation from toe side. Double S-bend rotation is primarily driven by the head and the shoulders and then the legs follow. If you look here, you'll see that my legs are ever so slightly behind my body in the rotation, but this gives your legs momentum. So you use your head to wind up the rotation and then your legs follow with momentum. And it's that leg following momentum that will give you the power to land this in blind. You wanna make sure that you've got the height for the main trick and that you are continually looking over your shoulder during the rotation so that you can spot the landing and you don't get lost in that double front. Once you come round from that double front, you release the back hand going into the backside 180 into blind. Use your head again to look at what will be the nose of your board so that you come into that blind landing looking at the nose of your board in the right direction, ready to pass that bar behind your back. Stomp it and ride away. 